A Green Country veteran turns 100 years young today. He spoke to News on 6's Sawyer Bussey about his life and his hopes that he's done something good for his community. Welcome to the class of 1936. 100-year-old Ray Perkins tells me initially he didn't have many pictures of himself. What he had was this scrapbook filled with decades of small snippets from his life. Is this from the soup kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> Says Chef Ray. Ray says living 100 years old isn't too hard. Nothing special. Nothing special. Just eat fairly well. His age comes with 100 years of memories. I was born in Pittsburgh, Kansas, and raised in Parsons, Kansas. 100 years of lessons. I was a kid that didn't study, and now I regret it. And a little loneliness. All my friends are dead. All my classmates but me are dead. Ray served four years in the military. He worked all kinds of jobs, but of all of his memories, he had the most to say about life after he retired. That's where Ray says he started a soup kitchen. Started volunteering for the church because I didn't have enough money I thought to give to him. So he gave his time for years. Helping other people just kind of helps me. He still has a letter from the 90s written by a mother thanking Ray for the money he raised for her son, who was fighting leukemia at the time. That card just tears me apart every time I read it. All these years later, he still talks to her. Ray spends his days beating people right and left at Domino's and having breakfast with his friends. A quilt of valor. They came out and presented me with a quilt, and it's all because of Ray. He's a very giving person, he's a great friend, and a great Donald player. And of course, <laughs> celebrating his 100th birthday. I've never had anything this big. In Tulsa, Sawyer Bussey, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.